with such a great staff here. I want to thank the chefs. Um, and I want to thank all of you for taking time out of your day to come here. Um, we didn't have stuff like this when I was in college. Um, we also didn't have the internet, but you <laughs> can you think about going to college when there was no cooking demos in the dining hall, which is upsetting. Um, there was no internet and there was no cell phones. Like if you wanted to find someone, you had to look. <laughs> Building a tomato sauce, um, and I'm already kind of not following my own recipe, which is maybe an indicator to you that when you cook at home or you cook in your dorm room and you don't make things according to a recipe, I give you full permission to do that. We're gonna put a little dried oregano in here. Um, I like dried oregano better than fresh. It's one of those herbs I actually like dried more. Um, and I will start taking questions, I think, while I do this, if you don't mind. I, I really like all the chopped judges, in all honesty. I like Aron a lot. Aron Sanchez comes like to my bar unannounced. He's very dear to my heart, and he is insanely charming and lovely. Sometimes I say, come on, that's too hard. Please take an ingredient out or replace an ingredient. I beg to be heard sometimes because I cannot believe what's in the basket. But I myself want there to be a basket where there's a giant, like really like nasty looking fish with teeth hanging out in a tank. <laughs> so they open the basket and they pull out a fish tank with a live fish and the fish is like Rah! <laughs> So I guess I kind of like the baskets. How sick is that? By the way, chop looks really easy at home from your couch with a bowl of cheese balls. You're like, I got this one. I have got this one. My mom makes this all the time. But sometimes we get some amazing stuff. When something's really good, I mean, it's just like, I, I'm almost speechless. I'm not a big fan of a lot of equipment, but I would buy a Vitamix blender. They're expensive, but you can puree a car. <laughs> and I really like that. And it looked like a stained glass church window. I think it was against Michael Simon, and he told me that he was cooking against Warren Meadow and he saw the first few dishes and he turned to his team and he was like, guys, I think we can win this. And then they turned around and they saw that stained glass window sushi and they were like, dude, you lost. Because <laughs> for me, a meatball should be like a hamburger. It doesn't need to be cooked to death. Why fry not bake? Why fry not bake? For? Oh. Oh. Are you health conscious? Is that why you're asking? No, it's just a grandmother's recipe, so. Oh, your grand? Oh, am I going against what grandma did? No, no. I think my buddy